red carpet is rolled out in Dublin City tonight for the closing gala screening of the Jada Film Festival and tonight it's all about the stag. How's the wedding plans going? Each detail is as important as the last. This is us. <gasps> it's so cute. You're a strange, strange man. So you wrote those scenes where you're all going to be taking off your clothes in the freezing cold. It's your fault that you went through all that pain yourself. I know, yeah. What are I you mean, thinking? It's just, uh, I wasn't really thinking at the time, <laughs> no. obviously. Uh, but um, when we sent the script to the guys, the first thing we thought we were going to hear was, you want to shoot this in November? <laughs> what are you, what are you thinking? Yeah. It's crazy. But they didn't, they didn't ask us that question once, so, yeah. um, uh, so I, I didn't bring it up. How do you think all these kind of American audiences are going to react to this? Because, you know, it's been compared to uh, loads of American films, like The Hangover, that kind of thing. Are, how are you even reacting to that? I think it's okay, yeah. It's, it's not, um, I mean, it's, it's not uh, too similar to The Hangover. It's got, a, it's got a kind of fairly different energy and it's about guys who have uh, issues and need to resolve them between each other. So it's a story about male friendship, you know. Yeah. It, the films that we like are um, like Swingers and Sideways and Diner, like films about male uh, friendship that are comedies and that have heart, you know, so we were trying to do something like that. So beautiful. So tell me, what was it like having Amy Hooperman, Ireland's sweetheart, as your love interest? It was okay. It was all right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's a bit of a diva, isn't she's she? She's a bit of a diva, yeah. Yeah, has John told you she's in jail, that's yeah. why she's not here, yeah. yeah. And for people who are watching and they're not too familiar, so tell us a little bit about your characters and your characters' relationship. We're boyfriends, both called Kevin. I'm slightly older, <laughs> so I'm called Big Kevin. Big I'm, Kevin I'm and little, you're little, little Kevin. Obviously. And tell me, now, there's obviously a lot of comedians and stuff acting on this film, so was it hilarious crack like off while you weren't even filming? Yeah, yeah it was very, very enjoyable there. Uh, it, it, there was no time for anything, so it was just things kept moving and those guys are pretty funny. You need to roam free. I've got this compass to keep us on track. Flop. No! Yeah, do you think all of your fans from obviously from Sherlock is they're gonna get on board with this film? I hope so. I hope so. I've been bossing them about to tell them to come on March 7th. Uh, so I hope they do come, yeah. It's Absolutely. a great movie. It's a great movie. So. And tell me, is it nice, a nice break to sort of get out of the villain mentality with this yeah. film? You know, yeah. it's a comedy, it so it's yeah. a bit of crack. Yeah, yeah. I've been sort of quite deliberately um, stepping away from villain territory in the past past uh, year. So, yeah, it's really nice. And tell me, do you have a lot of people kind of coming up to you, you know, doing impressions of the voice, the unusual Moriarty voice? Uh, yeah, there was a couple over there, actually. They were pretty good at it. Yeah, um, but uh, <laughs> not, not really, no. People are maybe a bit scared. It's not backwards. Yeah. No. Oh, no, 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 no,